How's it going everyone? It's Than from Tidal Gardens. We got in some new corals, and when I was acclimating them to our tanks, I was just thinking about how many times I get asked how to go about acclimating new arrivals. There are many ways to do it, but the fundamentals are fairly consistent. We want to introduce the new corals to the tank with as little shock as possible, and avoid as much as possible any issues with unwanted hitchhikers. The first step in acclimation is to float the new arrivals to stabilize the water temperature. Even a short car ride can result in a significant change in temperature. Probably not to the extent the coral would die, but to further shock the coral by quickly introducing it to your tank really isn't the best idea. As a general rule, we like to float the corals for at least 10 minutes. The next step is to get the new arrivals introduced to the water in the system. What we like to do is empty the corals into a new container and add water from the system slowly. This can get tricky with orders received online because often they don't come in a lot of water like you see here. Shipping large bags of water is incredibly expensive, so often shippers will use as little water as possible without threatening the safety of the animals. The best thing to do in this case is to pour the water into a smaller container like a cup before setting it into the large basin. That way the coral stays submerged the whole time and you can add water slowly to the cup and let it overflow into the basin. Now that all the corals are out of their bags, it's time to start getting them adjusted to the water in their new home. The slower we do this the better. If possible, set up a drip system to add water drop by drop into the basin. Some folks use a pinched siphon hose directly from their tank and check it periodically to make sure it doesn't overflow. This approach works fine, but as a personal preference, I like to use a 5 gallon container filled with just enough water to fill the basin, so if I were to forget, I wouldn't empty my tank onto the floor. The system shown here was made with a square pail, bulkhead, and a small ball valve. At this point, the new arrivals could be introduced into the system, but here we'd like to take an additional step to cut down on the risk of pest critters. We add some coral dip like Coral RX to kill off unwanted hitchhikers. Now there's no guarantee that the dip will kill off everything, but it's a good practice and if it prevents just one infestation, it's worth it. This particular dip has an oily consistency and smells like detergent. Some coral dips are iodine based and are better suited for antibiotic purposes. The detergent like dips are what we use for pest control. The dipping procedure lasts about 10 to 15 minutes and during the process we blow off the corals with a turkey baster to dislodge potential hitchhikers that have been stunned by the solution. Here you can see a strange worm that was hiding at the base of an acanthophilia. On first glance it looks like one of those regular pink and purple bristle worms. But on closer inspection, it has really weird long whiskers and is far more active than the bristle worms I'm used to seeing. Now I don't know if this particular worm is dangerous, but I've seen plenty of tanks that had to be taken down and restarted because something comes in as a tiny larvae and turns into a 6 foot long killing machine. On that note, these corals are ready to be placed in their new home. I hope you guys liked the video. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to check us out on our website, tidalgardens.com. Happy reefing everybody!